All right, hello and welcome to the demo of uh, Moons of Arden. I don't think the music's going to be too loud. Hey, it would just drop it down a little bit. Anyway, let's begin, shall we? All right, exonauts, blah, 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 blah. Destiny, alien world. Uh, construct a city center, then a shelter, then reach one stranded. Okay. Easy enough. One city center coming up. Probably right here in the center. Seems like a safe spot. And one shelter. Bam. Reach. Oh, well, okay, let's see. Basic controls, pretty simple. Uh, resources, currently available on your moon. And... Okay, cool. Reach one stranded. What does that even mean? Well, I, I reached one stranded. I don't really know what it is that I did. But I did it. Alright. Build some uh, lumber. More shelters. Door wood, huh? Alright. Look at my little dudes running around doing their stuff. Oh, he's like, nah, we're going to sleep. I ain't chopping any wood tonight. It's a very chill experience so far. Uh, this seems more like a planet than a moon, but I guess it is indeed a moon. Oh, is there like no fast way to kind of get back to our town? Uh, no, I guess not, because I have to manually figure out where I was. Well, that's, you know, more complicated than you might think. All right. Build some nutrient paste. Huh. Pretty simple. It seems rather terrible. Um, what's close? Our population is three out of three. There are seven jobs. I mean, I don't have other things I can build right now. Um... Wow, this is going to take a little bit of time for them to actually make some stuff uh, with their hydroponic farm. Uh, can I increase things? Our production is increased. Sweet. All right, well, apparently... I need to do it a little bit differently. Okay, that's, uh, that's a bit better. Oh, more shelters. Dang, okay. Um, I'm glad that I have enough of whatever it is that I need. Looks like we can get some additional folks. All right, bam. Almost all my people are working. I gotta say, I think I'm doing a relatively decent job so far. Water collector and water purifier. Alright, let's get the water collector, which I would have thought would have been made sense to put it by water, but it doesn't seem like it actually matters. So, we'll just, um, I guess we'll just put those there. One additional water, water collector. 
So far, aside from like the tree, uh, the logging aspect, it doesn't seem like there's really much of a reason to put anything in a specific area. You can just kind of put however, put things however you want, which I think is fine. Like I'm not complaining about that, but it means there's not a lot of of a requirement to. Uh, be too careful about what I do, I guess. That's what I'm trying to find. And what? Oh, this generates pollution. That's terrible. Ah, we'll pollute by the water. That way it'll be safe for everybody. Wait. Uh, let me... Ah. Uh, I don't have enough of the, uh... Whatever those things are to, uh, add some more shelters. Okay, well, I would like to build this, but trying to find somewhere that's going to give me the largest amount of cash, not cash, but, but actually really good amount. A little bit harder than you would think. Hey, one warehouse. Which I need two workers and five doodle deca head drones. No, I don't know. Um, I am losing wood. Well, that's that's not acceptable. All right, we need to make more wood. Here we go. 2.25 a day. Yeah, I mean, I, I can deal with that. Like, I feel like it's still not as much as I would like to get, but it helps. Reach 42 stranded, which is actually, I'm pretty sure that means, like, that's my, um, my population? I don't... I don't know, actually. Um... I think that'll bring us up to 33. It is... Alright, I think I can upgrade these. Oh, because I need enhanced logistics network. That's lame. The easiest way for me to upgrade my units, or, my, or to get this 42 that I need, is to just Upgrade my houses. It's kind of lame to not be able to um, to do that like automatically. I I feel like we should probably make more nutrient based. Like we just weren't really making enough iron water. Uh, probably. Wouldn't hurt to have a little bit more water every day. 2.8 a day. There we are. Might as well get some more wood. Oh, 
I think we need more houses. I mean, obviously I need more houses, but it looks like I need them. Um, this needs to be upgraded if I can, but I don't see a way to actually upgrade this. But it looks like I am I've reached like the limit on which I can actually. Get things in there. Eh, whatever. We're just gonna half ass it since that's what it's pretty much making me do. Well, you know, I wish I would have known I needed to that I was going to need a community center, I would have made the community center in the middle just to, you know, to begin with. Um, that's always something I find to be pretty annoying when it comes to um, any game that is similar to this. Because it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to wait to, like, find out um, that in order to do something, you need, um, an additional building or whatever. Like, I mean, if I would have known that I was going to need a community senator to, um, help these dudes uh, grow at a much better pace, then I would have built this little village thing a lot different, a lot, a lot better. I would, I would have done a much better job, um. But whatever, I mean, I, we'll just have to go with. You know how things are. Oh, let's see. Gray water is minus two a day. It seems like it's probably a negative. I don't know if it's. Uh... I don't know. Like maybe there's just well, no, there's enough people working. Like everybody's got like a job, so I don't really, I don't really know what the deal is. Yeah, still need more settlers. Alright, we're gonna just destroy that building so I can add a new community center. Once I get enough of the wood. Oh, look, I can. I don't need all the community buildings because. Oh, my God. Well, I messed up. I was wrong. Oh well, you know it's good enough, whatever. But that's 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 definitely kind of an annoying um, aspect. A lot of different things we can build. Um, I wonder if I can like play this without uh, doing a tutorial. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna. End, I don't know. Can I? Let, let's let's see. Quit the main menu. Um, see if I can do this without having to. Nope, not not really. It's really just gonna be the kind of the same thing. It's rather unfortunate because I would like to go back and do this in a way that's a little bit different. Um, because I'm not like a super super fan of how I built my stuff. It's obviously going to take, uh, you well, know, some time to do everything that needs to be done here. And, um,
Now, you guys want clothes. Well, that's cool. I would make some clothes if I could, but I cannot. Um... Doesn't really make much. I guess I need more... More stranded to work. The settlers don't work, I guess. Or their managers, I guess. I, 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 I don't know exactly, like, why that's going on. I don't really know that I care for the idea of having a different cast of, of you know, characters to, to do things. Like, I mean... We're on a planet, we're in space. You know, I would just prefer if everybody, you know, like, work the same. But, I mean, I get it, you know, right? There is a certain amount of characters uh, that would do certain things. Like, I need some people to do specific things. I get it. But I'm looking at this, and it's just kind of like... You know, I, I don't... I don't know. Okay, so we got 73 jobs. I don't know if that's 73 jobs there are at the moment, or if there are 73 unfulfilled jobs. And it would appear we are making a lot of pollution. I still don't see any way to make this larger for actually building things. I guess I could build a second one, but I mean, I I don't want to build a second one. Anyway, 17 minutes into it I can, I can tell that like uh, you know, overall I would say it's a pretty decent uh, game about space colony building. It has its moments. Uh, graphics are nice. Music is nice. It's very chill. I'm Wholly unsatisfied with what I was making and the reason really is because I didn't know exactly what I was going to need so I ended up uh, building things in a way that weren't actually as good as I was going to need them um, which is going to put me this almost stalemate sort of thing where it's simply just going to take time uh, to actually get around to making the things that I need and it's just going to be minutes upon minutes of me doing absolutely nothing except for staring at the screen and talking about whatever it is I decided to talk about to kind of just occupy this space so uh, I'm going to be a big grown up and say that this is going to be where I end the video I think overall it's a pretty cool idea it is definitely pretty chill and uh, relaxing so if you're looking for a kind of colony building game uh, you know, civilization builder, you know, something like that. I think this might be a good choice. And um, the link is in the description if you would like to try it. If you like it, consider wishlisting it. And that is all.